Hi everyone, my name is Stephanie Jensen, I am an author, and I am introducing my book Dissecting House. So I'm just going to go ahead and read the synopsis of Dissecting House. A young woman confessed to a murder. Criminal psychologist Dr. Victor Lookman has to find out why. What he gets is a psychopath unlike one he's ever met before. The serial killer, Mina Bassi. Her victims of choice? Men. Through his sessions, Mina uncovers tales of torture, assault, and gruesome murders. Well now, as you can see by the synopsis, and also by the cover itself, that this book has a serious trigger warning. It is very violent, it is not ideal for anybody under the age of 18 years old, and when you read the book, just be prepared for some serious violence. If that's what you're into, if you're into the whole bloody gory horror, then you will absolutely love this. This book is also more for those who are into serial killers, more so than um, those who are into paranormal or other types of horror. I got the idea from a lot of the pressure that women get to not walk alone at night and to carry your key or car keys in your hand whenever you're alone and all this, you know, only wear certain clothes or else you'll get raped. And I had the idea, what if we turn the tables? Because women have been taught to fear men our entire lives. So what if I wrote a book where men start to fear women? What if there's some crazy, some crazy psychopathic woman just prowling around and targeting men? And talking to, especially talking to a lot of my male friends, and I've discovered that a lot of them are just kind of clueless. They just walk around without any weapons and trust strangers, and I've always thought that was completely bizarre because I was always taught not to do that, and I, gained, and I came to realize that it's because I'm a girl and men don't get the same warnings that women do. I also try to create my victims very well, um, as well as creating Mina, the, the antagonist, well. Um, a lot of the victims are a combination of just normal guys going out to a bar, drinking with friends, they come across Mina, they think they're gonna, you know, have some fun with her after the bar, and <laughs> so <laughs> there are normal guys like that, but then she also kills off some not so good guys, let's put it that way. And I wanted to diversify uh, her victims. Well, one, because you know I'm friends with a lot of guys, they're all different. Uh, and I wanted to convey all of her victims as different men in different parts of their lives. Some are married with kids, some are young single guys, uh, some are party guys, some are not, some are rich, some are not poor, but you get what I mean, like, not exactly rich. And I wanted to include both nicer normal guys as well as, you know, jerk guys for a combination of different reasons. Not necessarily as like a me too thing, but more so because I think in decades past, a lot of those guys were able to get away with, you know, whether assaulting a woman or catcalling or just being a not a nice guy. So I wanted to more so say, hey, you can't get away with this, whether it's by the law or whether you come across some psychopathic woman named Mita Bassi. If you're interested in learning more about Dissecting House before you read the book, I, ha I actually wrote a blog on my website, infernalhorror.com, where I go more into Dissecting House, kind of some of my ideas, answering some questions that I've gotten from other readers, such as why is it so violent. So a little bit about me. Uh, my name is Stephanie Jensen. I've been writing ever since the day I could read and I could spell out words. I guess I was probably six or seven years old when I wrote my first short story. My first short story was not anything grotesque like this. It was about a turtle, or I think it was a turtle with an animal that had no friends. So yeah, um, if I obviously um, grew as a writer from there and developed different interests, as you can see. But yes, I've been pursuing writing my entire life. I actually earned an English degree from the uh, University of South Florida. 
I am a full-time freelance writer and I also do a lot of work in the horror industry. I'm a production assistant for many indie horror films. I've worked at horror conventions. I've also gone into some effects, some makeup stuff. Um, I've, I've even been an extra in some horror films. My other biggest passion in life is actually extreme metal music, and I've been a music journalist for eight years now? Well, about eight years. So uh, I own another website, infernaltv.com. I'm a contributing writer to Outburn magazine. Thank you so much for checking out this short video of me introducing my book, Dissecting House, and introducing myself as a writer. If you're interested in buying Dissecting House, you can buy it on Amazon. I'm including a link in the description of this video. And also feel free to check out my website, infernalhorror.com. I blog about topics and writing in the horror industry, some of my favorite movies, books, pretty much anything about both horror and writing. And subscribe to my YouTube channel. I know this is my first YouTube video on the Infernal Horror YouTube channel but I do plan on releasing more video content, so feel free to subscribe to my channel if you want to know more about me and my writing, or if you just want to see me nerd out about horror. Thank you again, everyone.